in three, two, one. Hey there, I'm Mike Dixon, Simply Your Device, coming today at you with a new video. We're going to talk Pixel 6 here. Pixel 6, after well owning it for a year and then some, a year and a couple weeks now, I want to share my thoughts, uh, some things about it. I never really did an actual review. I, I just plumb opened the box up, took it, and, and just started running with it. My intent was I had the Pixel 4a 5G, and my intent was to have two pixels like I have now and go with uh, one uh, as a primary and one as to, to run betas. The Pixel 6 was a whole new design for coming from after years of what some consider to be a bland uh, phone. Uh, they came out with this camera bar. I don't want to take it out of the case, but that's the color I have. Camera bar, different color back, a two-tone, you know, a lighter color and a darker color here. They had a green and a, and a light, uh, a lighter green, shade of green here, or uh, almost gray and a black up here. With the tone here, this was all always black around it on, on the side rails. Google came in with a plan. The plan was a new design phone, try and get back to some of their roots, try to really establish Android with the way it should be, the way meant to be. Android 12 was going to be a completely redo of Android with Material U theming. And they did. They did do that. But out of the gate, the software for Android 12 was plugging. Google came out with their own first, their own chipset. Yes, I hear talk people talk about it's really Samsung's Exynos chipset with Google's, uh, you know, what they what they wanted in it. But in the end, Google calls the shots. They've been under Qualcomm's thumb on updates now. Granted, this only gets three year of major OS updates and five years of security patches. And then right away, Samsung comes out <laughs> with their own, I believe it's four years and five years of security patches. In the end, Google had their vision. They know that they wanted to make themselves a, the standout from the crowd to be the one that what Android is meant to be. They came out advertising this phone heavily on different, different events. I seen a lot of advertising for this phone, especially when they came for the NBA playoffs. There was a lot of a lot of TV press on this. They even were, you know, the uh, Google Pixel was presented by Google Pixel, you know, NBA play, playoffs. I didn't have any issues. I was afraid. I I I <laughs> I let the hype and the fear mongering get to me for months. Uh, over there was a table that this phone just sat there, shut off, no SIM card, no nothing. My Pixel 4a 5G was the phone, uh, among with other ones. But the 4a 5G, I remember, I kept for the longest time. Uh, as my plan was to uh, make this the primary and the 4a 5G the the one that could get the betas, and that didn't happen. Through different updates, I mean, I literally probably went through three months of literally not actually using this phone uh, and 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 just two two solid months of uh, never turning it on i held my breath and went through all the updates and so far this phone has been really enjoyable to use if you have the ability i'm going to say now if you have the ability to pick up this phone i confidently say now with android 13 that this phone is still a great phone to uh, as a pickup the size now the pixel 7 is I would describe it as smaller, tighter, tighter, clean around here. The bezels are a lot narrow, uh, just just overall. But I still love the size. It feels feels great in, for me in my hand. <laughs> it just it's a great size. Uh, twenty twenty two. I don't know. I guess about January or so, or, or February even. I, I that's when I really pushed it into service. And it, and it held my main SIM for the longest time. The longest time I used this uh, this device. And every time I come back to it, every time I might, if I do take out the SIM, 
and, and use another phone, I put the SIM back in it, it's like, ugh, it's coming home. It feels like it's coming home. Google did a great job of trying to reestablish, I call it, it's the reestablishing of the OG. This is what Google should have done. Maybe, uh, you know, this is just is trying to straighten all their, their flub ups from the Pixel 2, 3, 4, parts of 5. You can have this argument with me, but, but this is what they eventually got to. They got the right people figuring this stuff out. Like, you can't get this phone new uh, as far as buying it from, uh, from, the, uh, from the Google store. Uh, probably Best Buy might have a few new ones. Uh, but it's definitely worth a pickup if you're looking into getting a Pixel. Now, I'm not going to sit, is sit here and tell you that it's all, you know, unicorns and, and, and butterflies here. One of my problems is that fingerprint sensor. Of course, because now I'm, I'm here, it's probably picking up my, I, I, I turn around every setting that could uh, detect that I'm here. I have it t detecting on my watch. So I don't have to fight with that fingerprint sensor. That fingerprint sensor on this device is not ex not the best. And I feel it still holds true with the Pixel 7 also. The Pixel 7 is just a shade bigger, better uh, for, uh, for the fingerprint sensor. I, so many times I pick it up and I want to look at it and just hope for face unlock. And that was the other feature. I, they, they, just one thing that did, they did us wrong by not putting out a software update once they knew that they could trust that this device could handle so, uh, face unlock. They put it on the Pixel 7 and all it does is for sheer convenience. It doesn't do anything for security. You still need to use your thumbprint if you want to use your, your Google Pay. I can say that's about the only thing, the only Achilles heel, my only real gripe with this phone. As you can see, I have Caseology, Par Parlax case on this. You need a case. If you're considering getting a f this phone, get a case for it. This thing is grease pig, buttered grease pig. <sighs> this thing will just, I have sat it on this table and watched it just starting to slide off on this flat table. It is insane how slippery this the, these both phones, this Pixel 7 and the 6 is. I'm glad I never sold this phone. I really was, I, I actually had it on sale for on Swappa and it didn't sell. And, and that was a blessing in itself. I'm glad I kept it. I still have it to this day. I enjoy this phone immensely. Uh, I'm going to have to do some rotation and it's going to be parked for a little while. And, and I, it, it pains me. I have some things I have to do, and I need to park this phone, but I enjoy this line. I enjoy this phone, not so much the, so much the line, but uh, I mean, I got my extra SIM card in it from T-Mobile, and I, I'll use it. I'll just tell the family, hey, I'm using this phone line today, just to enjoy the use, use of the phone. Uh, through this whole time, I don't know if you can see it, that, that's not a scratch. That's an actual scratch on the screen protector. Uh, that was the other thing. With this was the screen protectors that you would have bought from Amazon would really just jack up the fingerprint sensor, just make it impossible to use. I had to buy the authentic approved uh, Google one. I think this is OtterBox version, some kind of OtterBox, a uh, very thin um, uh, film screen protector on it. And then lately, I've been running with my phones without a screen protector and, and the, 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 it's, they've been durable. I, if I have to peel this off, I don't think I want to put a screen protector on it. It will keep on receiving all the pixel drops, all the pixel features, all the, anything that picks, uh, that Google uh, releases. Uh, it seems to me that they're the six and the seven are getting more features versus the pixel five and the four. I don't even know if the four is going to get updates anymore. I could be wrong with that one. Maybe it's the five. But anyway, uh, that's it for today's video. If you like today's video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, comments, always welcome. Start the conversation down below, as I always like to say. Uh, you've stuck it out here uh, so far. The 
Uh, word of the day for this today's video is Pixel 6. Leave it down in the comments below. That tells me that you stuck it out to the end. And if you like to say you're new, consider joining the crew here, joining the membership. I do car vlogs on Monday and, and Fridays and try and get a video in in the middle of the week. Return subscribers, as always, thank you. Thank you very much for stopping by and supporting the channel. Uh, looking for a, a good phone service. I do have Google Fi on my Pixel. Uh, actually, no, it's on my iPhone now. And I have Google Fi on my iPhone, and it's working quite well. Uh, if you care to try out Google Fi, you'll get $20 off in your first month, and I get $20 off for a month for me. It helps me and helps the channel. Uh, again, I'm Mike Dixon. This is Simply Your Device. Enjoy your tech. I'm out.